Hello, Andrew here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my preview of week 28 and predictions in the Premier League. So, um, on to the first game. Uh, first game's tonight, uh, Norwich versus Leicester City. Um, Norwich got absolutely destroyed by Wolves um, last week, and... Yeah, they're definitely going down. There's no two ways about it. And Leicester went down eventually to Manchester City. Um, they had their chances. But in all honesty, Man City deserved the victory. Um, how do I see this one going? It should be Leicester bouncing back, to be fair. You expect um, Norwich at bottom. Leicester were fighting for a Champions League spot. And I, I can only see a comfortable victory for Leicester, and I'm going to say 2 0 Leicester City. Uh, Brighton versus Crystal Palace. This is a six pointer for both teams. Um, both, you know, lagging just above the drop zone, and they both need the points. I mean, Crystal Palace got a much needed win against Newcastle last week, um, a 1 0. Um, but Brighton. I mean, they got a draw against Sheffield United, so, um, I mean, an extra point towards safety, but it's so close at the bottom, it really is. It's closer at the bottom than what it is at the top. Um, well, from second to first, anyway, but from, I say from second to six, it, it's quite close as well. But um, how do I see this one going? Uh, Brighton are normally better at home. Palace struggled to score goals. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say one one. Uh, Bournemouth versus Chelsea. Bournemouth got absolutely destroyed by Burnley last week, um, and Chelsea got a much um, needed victory against Spurs. You know, it was, um, it was a good game to watch, um, and. Although Bournemouth had had a couple of good results, um, I can't see them getting a result here. Um, especially with a 3-0 loss to Burnley, I think Chelsea would be too strong for them. I'm going to say 3-1 to Chelsea. Um, Newcastle Burnley. Burnley, literally, at what you know, a few maybe a couple of months ago, you're thinking this could be one of the teams that are going down. Um, and Newcastle had some good results. I mean, they, you think Newcastle was safe with 34 points. But you never know in this Premier League. Um, but I think Burnley are just going to continue their good run at the moment. Um, and I can see another loss for Newcastle here. And I'm going to say 2-1 to Burnley. West Ham versus Southampton. This is a must win for West Ham. You think Southampton should feel they're safe. Um, they got a 2-0 against Aston Villa last week. Um, but West Ham losing 3-2 to Liverpool on Monday doesn't tell the whole story. Um, they played out of their skin. And if it wasn't for two goalkeeping errors, they might have actually won that game. Um, I mean, yeah, they, they defended, they counter-attacked. And if West Ham play like they did against Liverpool... Um, for 60-65 minutes um, then West Ham have a very very good chance of staying up um, Southampton have been on a very good run um, but West Ham are going to need to be at their best if they're going to beat them um, how do I see this one going? I think West Ham will get a result here um, I'm going to say I'm going to say 2-2 two -two. Uh, Watford versus Liverpool Watford, another team in the bottom three, looking for points. Um, they lost 3-0 to Manchester United on Sunday, and and they looked second best throughout the entire game. Um, so, you know, and, but Watford gave us a very good game at Anfield. It was because they didn't take their chances, and we did. We won the game. Um, Liverpool... Definitely did struggle against West Ham at times. And as I say, if it weren't for goalkeeping errors, excuse me, um, we might not have been continuing on this um, winning run. 
Should we beat Watford? On paper, yes. But Watford, you know, can play. They do play well at home. Um, Liverpool seem like their focus was on Atletico Madrid. You know, the loss to Atletico Madrid, and that, and it wasn't on West Ham on Monday. They need to get their focus back. Um, you could definitely feel that. You know, I would never have said this, but that we missed Jordan Henderson in the middle of the park against West Ham. Um, but he's still not back, and so somebody's going to have to step up. I'm going to say a narrow victory here. I'm going to say 2-1 to Liverpool. Um, Sunday's games. Everton versus um, Manchester United. That's going to be a good game, to be honest. That that That's going to be a very good game. Um, I mean, Everton have been picking themselves up recently. Um, although they did lose three two to Arsenal on Sunday, it was a it was a very good game and it could have gone either way. At one, uh, it was you know it was definitely one of the games. Man United dominant performance um, against Watford. Um, so which way do I see this one going? It, it's gonna be it's gonna be close. Uh, I'm gonna go for a draw though. I'm gonna go with another draw. I'm gonna say two two draw. Uh, Tottenham versus Wolves. Again, Tottenham are going to be looking to bounce back from their defeat to Chelsea. Um, but Wolves are flying at the moment. You know, they're such a good side going forward. <coughs> they like to hit teams on the counter-attack and they can play some really good football. Uh, if Tottenham going to... You know, they're definitely missing Harry Kane um, and Song. Um, if Tottenham are going to get anything from this, they're going to have to play well. Um, what do I reckon? I reckon... We don't know how it came. I'm not too sure Son's going to be back. Uh, I think Wolves um, get a narrow victory here, and I'm going to say 2 1 to Wolves. Well, that's my predictions for the weekend. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Sorry, I sound a bit meh. I've got a horrible sore throat right now. It feels like I'm swallowing razor blades. Not nice at all. Um, but anyway, I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.